Good morning, Mount Olive Church and friends of Mount Olive Church. Happy Wednesday to you. Andrew Short here with you, filling in for Matthew Hubbard today, gladly. Um, share my screen here with you real quick, if I can remember how to do that. Um, so I want you to, I uh, want, want to do a quick devotion here today, as always, quick. Um, and I want to talk about um, glasses, um, or I guess you could th think of it more of maybe lenses. But um, we'll, we'll, we'll get to more of that here in just a second. This is from Pastor TJ's sermon on Sunday. It wasn't able to make it there in person, enjoyed it very, very much online, really hit me uh, right where I'm at. And so hopefully it did you too. Hopefully you were able to join us or uh, at least watch it online, but um, kind of still a couple of um, examples here from Pastor TJ. He, he had the different types of glasses there on the stage. And so uh, kind of got me to, to thinking about that too. And so uh, types of glasses and, and so these kind of merge into uh, real world examples, but I, I do wear glasses. These are actually my glasses. More on that here in a minute. But uh, I guess you could start out with these dark glasses, these these sunglasses here. Um, you could think of this as the world's view, right? It's too dark. You can't see anything here inside my house. It might be nice on a summer day, uh, but I can't really see anything. Not enough light gets in, right? These aren't the right lens that I need to be looking through, right, on my daily life. Um, another one, Another example here, my, my lovely daughter, youngest daughter, wears glasses. These are her glasses. Um, they're great. They're perfect. They're, they're a perfectly fine looking pair of glasses on her, not so much on me. Um, but but they look really good and they work really good for her, but but they're not made for me. This is this is not going to help me see at all. I can't see hardly anything through those glasses. Um, so so they're not for me. They're not, they're not my glasses. They don't help my perspective at all. Um, even though they look good, even though maybe it's something good, maybe it's my job, maybe it's uh, my family, good things, but that's not the perspective. That's not the most important thing. That's not what I need to be viewing the world through. And then, you know, here's my glasses, maybe not as, as cool looking as Everly's, maybe not as cool looking as the sunglasses I found laying around, but but they're perfect. I can see perfectly through these. They're made just for me by, I said, a master craftsman. It was actually some cheap online thing, but you get the point. Um, it, it's perfect for me to see through, for my vision. Um, it allows me to see everything around me clearly when they're clean. More on that here in, in just a minute. They're, they're really not very clean right now, so that'll work out good here in a second. So I want to go to 1 Corinthians 3. This was um, the part of the message that really kind of kind of got me um, And when Pastor TJ was talking about carnal Christianity. And, and I, brethren, could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, but as unto carnal even as unto babes in Christ. I have fed you with milk and not with me, for hitherto you were not able to bear it, neither yet now are ye able. For ye are yet carnal, for whereas there is among you envying and strife and divisions, and ye not carnal and walk as men. I think sometimes we think of these carnal Christians, these babes in Christ, these uh, milk, uh, people being on milk instead of meat, as being, you know, right out of the gate Christians. And, and that's certainly true. I remember being there myself. Um, but I think sometimes it can sneak back into us, too. Um, and so that's that's kind of where I want to go here. You know, I was, I was talking a minute ago about these are my glasses. They're they're perfectly made for me. Right. This is the Jesus is playing in my life is perfectly made for me. The perspective he wants me to wake up with every day is perfectly made for me. But sometimes I, I allow things to get to cloud that I allow things to come in. I allow stresses of this world anxieties of this world to, to get on this lens, to get on this perspective and, and cloud it up and I can't see. And so what I need to do is, this is great lens white from Target and they're not our sponsor. It's just, you know, that's that's where these came from. But if I if I clean these off, which they are, were actually kind of dirty, and I clean these off and now my perspective is perfectly clear, just like the master intended it for it, for it to be. And so once in a while, I allow that thing to clear to, or to get in the way of my perspective, my my everyday approach to life. And, and I've got to stop. And that's what this sermon did for me. I've got to stop and take inventory of my life and say, I, I've got to start focusing my perspective where God wants me to have it. And so this was a, a few quotes here from Pastor TJ that I just, man, they were great, especially this last part here we'll end with. Uh, so I love a little bit of Jesus, but other things sit in the center of my life. How true that is, whether that's the dark, glasses of the world um or whether maybe it's something that's really good uh, maybe it's my job maybe it's my family maybe it's something that's really good 
Um, but it's sitting where it doesn't need to sit. It's not sitting on the place that God wants himself to be seated. Maybe our happiness or anxiety or depression really comes down to our perspective, really comes down to looking through the lens that the maker intended me to look for. We choose what lens to put on each morning. That was big for me. Um, <clears throat> I don't have to continue to put this old cluttered, um, foggy vision lens on every single morning. I get to choose what lens I look through every morning, what perspective I look through, and whether or not I'm going to cleanse that up by reading his word and spending time with him and, and looking through the perspective he would have me to. So this was how Brother TJ ended it. And man, I'm, I'm going to basically quote it word for word. He said, let Jesus come again to the throne of my heart. This really hit me. I hope it, I hope you can use this too. Let Jesus come again to the throne of my heart. My perspective has been off lately. Amen. And I'm tired of the defeat in my mind. If that hits you like it hits me, then, then let's do something about it, right? Jesus be the center. So here's, here's my prayer. Jesus be the center of my thoughts and my life. Come and bring peace through the Holy Spirit in my mind and life. Lord, let me adjust my perspective. Let me cleanse my perspective. Lord, cleanse my perspective through the Holy Spirit for me. And so I'll just end right here with a little, little scene from Acts real quickly here with Paul. Um, and this is the part that I always think, the pers- when I think of perspective, I think of this story. Paul and Silas in prison. They've been you know, wrongly in prison. They're in, they're in this Roman prison that's cold and dark and, and, and wet. And so in verse 24 here, he says, who having received such a charge, Paul and Silas, thrust them into the inner prison and made their feet fast in the stock. So, so put them in cuffs. And the, verse 25, instead of laying there and, and being down about it, verse 25, and at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God and the prisoners heard them. Let that really sink with us this week and, and think about the perspective that we have and, and how truly good we have it in our lives and, and how good the the master has has given it to us. And let's be thankful to him. Let's wake up every morning and let's choose to put on the lens that the good Lord above has given us to look through. Guys, I hope you got something out of that. Um, It was certainly good for me this week. And hopefully have a good Wednesday and a good rest of your week. Love you guys. Have a good day.